A senior judge ruled that the rule of Dubai abducted two of his daughters uh, and he has also uh, talked about how uh, his, uh, his youngest wife uh, has actually been in a situation uh, where she was physically threatened after she had an affair and left him. Now this involves Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. He was found to have waged a campaign of fear and intimidation on his youngest wife of six, that's Princess Haya, after she began an affair with a British bodyguard and fled to the UK. Let's talk about this with Mark Stevens. He's an extradition expert and lawyer from Howard Kennedy and joins me in the studio. Good morning to you. Morning, Julia. Um, this case has been running for uh, 10 months in the family courts. We finally got more of the details and um, they are extraordinary. I mean, this we are in Hollywood film territory here, are we not? And this involves you know, one of the richest men in the world who also just happens, probably through the race course, the racehorses, to be a good friend of the Queen and the other members of the royal family. So there are implications here. But um, is this just a, you know, a, a family court battle with no real significance or is there more to talk about here? There's much more to talk about here. Uh, we've got a sort of almost a, a history of uh, Sheikh Mak Toum uh, with a whole um, colourful palette of uh, allegations. Uh, so one of his daughters tried to escape and uh, mercenaries were sent after them to arrest them on the high seas uh, and to abduct them back and, of course, have been sent into uh, or closeted away ever since then. In prison, to all intents and purposes. Well, yes, yes effectively. It may be house in a palace, arrest, but, yeah. yeah. But they are not allowed to leave. They are controlled who they see. And then you've got the wife who um, came here, the sixth wife, and she came here because she feared that uh, she would suffer a similar fate and also she wanted to extract her children from the uh, clutches of him. And, of course... Uh, she then had to have custody awarded to her. and uh, Something that wouldn't be recognised in the United Arab Emirates. As, certainly, as the certainly not. And, of course, one of the challenges around that was um, who's a fit and proper person. And, of course, um, the judgment was really quite important. So the, the Sheikh Maktoum did not turn up uh, to the hearing. He did not give evidence uh, and he wasn't cross-examined. So as a consequence, the he said, I want this case to be dropped. In fact, what happened was it's, it went ahead at uh, Princess Hire's instance and she said, I need a clear judgment so that the police, the security forces and uh, the uh, courts of the United Kingdom understand and can provide protection not only to myself but to my children. Because you know, if they were abducted, we would need to see them back. Yeah. But that's not the end of it, because, of course, now we're in a situation where uh, Shep Mat Toom has effectively not got access to his children unsupervised, and also um, the investigations into the abduction of his uh, daughter from the UK, where it is alleged, and this is not this is not the princess's no, daughter. This is another, obviously, uh, six uh, wives. The so daughter lot, of another there wife. There are lots of children. Yeah. Yes. and she was apparently uh, drugged and abducted by men with guns uh, from uh, the Cambridgeshire area and taken back. And, of course, that is a breach of the criminal law. Uh, the uh, Director of Public Prosecutions is uh, susceptible to a judicial review for not uh, pursuing that. And, of course, Sheikh Maktoum, next time he's down at Ascot or next week at Cheltenham, it could easily be arrested uh, and brought in for interview yeah. in relation to it, these alleged crimes. I'm wondering crimes. if he will actually become this country. I mean, again, one of the concerns about the princess who uh, who did uh, who, 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 who involving her her own child was Jalila, now 12, at the age of 11. She said there were threats that her child was going to be married off to Mohammed bin Salman, uh, he calls the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, the man who basically yes, who we kidding ordered the murder and dismemberment uh, of the journalist Jamal Khashoggi uh, in uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, in Istanbul. Istanbul, uh, which, of course, I mean, international investigations have shown that he was very much involved in that. Uh, he's 34 years old. He's already got one wife. Uh, big concern about this. Now, the court said they wasn't, didn't actually have evidence to conclude that that was 100% the case. But given, again, the abduction of two older daughters, um, uh, this Princess Jamsa and Princess Latifa, uh, and who remain uh, deprived of their liberty, um, and that was a finding by, by the judge... Um, 
obviously reasonable concerns that she had. But I think there's another point here which we shouldn't lose, which is about the fact that this young child uh, was effectively being offered in marriage, but not a love marriage. Mm. This was an arranged marriage. This is positively medieval yeah. when, you know, po kings and potentates across Europe would send uh, yeah. their daughters and sons to be married, to intermarry amongst royal families. That is what is being suggested yeah. here, which of course is totally inappropriate because it's not the free will of the individual being sent into a bonded marriage. Yeah, exactly. And, and in terms of what happens now, though, I mean, this isn't just about a family matter. This isn't about this woman getting protection. Um, I mean, I would say as a general rule, don't marry somebody who's already got five other wives. I'm going out there on a limb, ladies. Maybe maybe this is a good hint to you. But no matter how rich he is, maybe, just maybe, uh, he might have a different idea about the uh, the equality in the marriage than you might have. Um, but but, um, but this, this does have implications for you know, international relations because we know, I mean, look, it's one thing, isn't it, for the Queen to go and sort of shake hands with uh, in Saudi Arabia and Prince Charles to go off, you know, to funerals and pay tribute. These are crucial allies in the Middle East. Uh, we, we're not choosing these people. We don't have to like these people. That's just part of the diplomatic job. When you're cozying up with someone, you know, because you're both like horse racing together, that's quite a different matter, isn't it? Well, I suspect we'll see an estrangement on the social level with the royal family. I should darn well expect so. And I think that, but I think the question really is. Um, whether the British law, the British criminal law, will intercede here. If it were anybody else, it, it would, would and should. And the question is whether Sheikh Maktoum will be treated differently but because of who he is. He's got and diplomatic of course, immunity. Law, well, look, he's got to plead that, and it's important that he does, because I think it's critical that if people behave inappropriately, abduct people once from the high seas, once from Cambridgeshire, that they are held to account of it, yeah. even if you can't bang them up. And again, even if they are foreign nationals, at the end of the day, you, you, you can't come to this country, and again, this was all this with, with, with you know, Putin and Skripal, didn't we? You, you, you can't come and just do whatever you want on our streets where our law rules. Yes, we have jurisdiction on criminal acts that yeah. happened here. So obviously mm. there's nothing we can do about the case in the Indian Ocean, but in relation to criminal acts in yeah. Cambridgeshire or allegations of it, they should be investigated, okay. they should be prosecuted. OK, um, likelihood of that happening? Between 0% and 100%? I think they'll come under a lot of pressure. OK. Interesting. I'd love to see it. I just assume we're not going to see the shake in this country anymore, and I'm perfectly happy with that. Thank you.